Hello everybody, I am live here from my closet because I got kicked out of my room because my sister is a granny and wants to sleep at 10 o'clock at night and I usually sleep at like 3 o'clock in the morning so yes, um, back into the swing of tutorials though even if it's from my closet, this will still be a good tutorial, I promise you Today I'm going to be going over something that I think is very important when working with photos, and that is using masks. Now, you can use masks for a variety of things. You can use them for text, brushes, selections, any, there's so many things you can do. So I'm going to show you guys some basic things that you guys can do, and masks will make your workflow flow so much easier, I promise you. Now, personally for me, it took me forever to learn masks. They were so confusing. Every time someone had a tutorial on masks, I would get so lost. I was like, what the hell is this? So I'm going to try to be as simple as possible. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment and yell at me and be like, hey, that was really confusing because I don't want it to be confusing. So let's begin. What is a mask? Now, let's think of a mask. A mask is something that's covering certain parts and you're showing certain parts so that would kind of be like your eyes right hopefully that's the kind of mask that you're wearing i really can't think of any other kind of mask that you would have so let's go ahead and let me show you guys a basic mask now you can literally make a mask of anything that you want but for this tutorial i will be showing you guys let's start out by making this whole picture black and white and then let's mask out an area that you want to be in color because I know that's kind of popular now. So let's go on over to a solid color layer. Just select black right here. Now what you're seeing here is a mask, this little white box right here. Now if I click or if I do anything, it's not letting me do anything. That's because I'm selecting the fill layer. But this is the mask of the layer. So if I click on this you can see it highlights right here so basically it's letting you know you've selected the layer mask now let's put this entire layer let's set it to color and as you can see the entire layer filled to black and white which is what we wanted now let's say I want her to be in color and I want the rest of it to be black and white easy peasy why did I just say that? Um, Let's go ahead and select the opposite color. As you can see, my color is black right here. And literally all I'm going to do, my opacity is 100. Everything's good. And I'm sorry, I'm really corny with my tutorials, so just don't just ignore everything I say, except the whole entire learning process. So let's go ahead and we are literally simply coloring over this layer. And as you can see, I'm coloring over the area that I want to show. Now, let's say I wanted, let's say I went over a little bit and I accidentally got some areas. What are you supposed to do? Select the color opposite. So what we want to do is fill back in with white. So just press X on your keyboard and it'll switch the colors out. So then you, it's like you're erasing. So let me show you guys. If I want her face to be black and white, there it is. Let's say I want her face to be back. Just press X, you're making it back to black. And as you can see, this is the layer. I'm going to press Alt and then I'm going to click. And this is my layer mask. <laughs> my layer mask. Um, this is essentially showing you guys what I want to show. The black is what I want not to show. And then the white, I'm confusing myself. The white is the part of the mask that we want to show, and the black is the part that we don't want to show. So, hopefully I've explained that simple enough. Now let's go ahead and try this with something else. Because you can really do this with anything. Let's go over to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and then Curves. And then you're just going to press OK. And then I'm just going to fill this in however I want. Make it all nice. Let's just make any kind of nice layer right here. Okay, let's do that. Now let's say I only want 
the I don't only want her to have this effect. And let me even make it more apparent by adding some more. Don't you just love curves? You can do so much. Okay, let's see. I only want her to have this colored effect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press Command I. And literally what I did was hide the entire layer. So now to reveal the entire layer, we have to do the opposite. Because look, if I go ahead and color black on black, it's not going to do anything. Because you're just coloring in what's already there, which is black. Now, if you color in white, switch it. If you just color in white, then it's showing through. And also, here's a cool trick. Let's say you wanted a certain texture. You can grab any kind of weird brush that you have, and it can make that exact texture. And you can just kind of have fun with that, I guess. It doesn't have to be a circle brush. It could be any kind of brush that you want. Again, you can use this with any sort of layer. Now, many times, some people will make a mask and the way you make a mask is simply by pressing this little button here, add layer mask, when the option does not come up. So if I'm pressing, let me make this a little different for you guys, so you guys can see a difference. Let's do color balance real quick. That doesn't really look that different. Okay, there we go. So let's just add a layer mask to this. Now, if I, usually people will do this, they'll, they'll, or they'll have the picture selected and they try to do it and then it paints right on the picture and they're like, what did I do? I did something wrong. It's not working. You're not, you have to make sure that you're selecting the mask, this little white area. So just, you see how it makes it, you see how it highlights right there? You want to make sure that is selected. And I'm going to invert this. And I can press Control I and it can switch it off and on. It's really the same thing. So I can show you guys. Coloring in. Again, I'm using the opposite color that, that's on the mask. And simply doing that. And that is just one of the way. One of the way. That's just, what, obviously, it's just, I maybe I'm the one who needs to go to sleep. So these are just one of, some of the ways that you can use layer masks um, for your photography. So you're probably wondering, why should I even use masks? How, do, how are they different from, you know, not using a mask at all? So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys using a mask versus not using a mask. So let's go ahead and go to... Let's go ahead and just duplicate the background layer to begin with. And then let's go to image adjustments and let's say color balance. It's just let's say you just want to change up the color a little bit. Nothing crazy. Okay. Press okay. Now let's add let's do this first actually without a mask. Let's say I want to make the background this blue color and I don't want her to be this blue color. So without a mask, what you would normally do, make sure 100% opacity, what you normally do is just erase, right? Oh, oops, I accidentally erased the area I did not want to erase. What are you going to do? You're probably going to press undo, right? Okay, well what if it's already too much and when you Try to hit back. Okay, no, that didn't work. I'm gonna try to do this excessively. So, okay, here we go. So let's see. I'm undoing it. I'm undoing it. Oh God. Uh oh. That's the far furthest it goes. Great. So I don't have to redo that whole step. So this is essentially what your layer is gonna look like. There's nothing else. If you mess up on this layer the first time then that's it you have to start all over let's trash that let's go ahead and duplicate this do the same thing go adjustments color balance uh, let's make it that pink color okay 
let's add a mask to this. So now I'm just going to go ahead and press Add Layer Mask. I'm going to make sure, again, that this rectangle is selected and not this picture. So I'm making sure the mask is selected. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and use the opposite color, black. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Oh, oops. Wow, I'm so clumsy. I just went over the... Oh, God, I can't even stop. Look at that. I just went over the whole background. Oh, all I have to do is just do the opposite color and erase it back in. And this is going to save you so much time because a couple, let's say a couple hours from now you change your mind. Let's say you want her to be the subject. The, all you have to do is just invert it. Or let's say you want her hair to be purple. There you go. You can change your mind. You can. It's so much more flexible. It's so much easier than using an erase tool. So this is why I recommend using a mask because it will save you so much time. And it's also good if you make mistakes like me. So using a mask is extremely efficient. I'm going to be teaching you guys some more ways of using masks and you can use them on more than just pictures. You can use them to mask out certain things like text, um, again brushes, and a variety of other things. So I'm going to probably be making this like a series. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about masks, please let me know. There Again, there's so much to know about masks that this is only a small portion. Hopefully I've helped you guys with that and I did not confuse you anymore. Thank you guys for watching.